All right, another Rufus here again at Straight Way, Georgia. Bless you. Let's try to read again. Close off the line. Well, Saints, I think y'all can see where I'm headed, what I'm about to go do. Show you the pad. This is the pad. This is a forty by sixty. Forty by sixty. 2,400 square feet. This is where we will be fellowshipping, dining, praise and worshiping, eating, homeschooling, whatever it is the Most High Yah desires. This is where Straightway Georgia is going to do it at. As you guys can see, we got the plumbing in for vanity there, toilet there, another vanity, another toilet. That's for the men's and women's bathrooms. And then that one you see down there is just for a sink. Yeah, that's for a sink for the kitchen. The kitchen's going to be on that end of the building. Hallelujah. Looks to me like they did a pretty good job. Uh, for those that don't know anything about concrete, um, this thing has to what has to do what's called cure, meaning get totally, totally hard. It's hard now, as you can see. We already got the braces and everything off. But before you want to start putting weight on it, you want to give it about about 28 days, about a month. Now we're gonna do block all the way around go up about four levels with eight inch cylinder blocks those we can start putting on in about two weeks i'm not sure if we're going to do it in two weeks because that will be right before the feast we may wait till after we get back let it fully cure but the edges have around the edges where the block is going to go we have and the majority of the weight of the building will be held up on we have extra rebar in there of course, it's got rebar all through it in the center, definitely. Um, in the kitchen areas where we're going to have a bunch of heavy equipment, extra rebar. Everywhere we knew for a fact, like that whole backside over there, we knew because that's the kitchen area and then the wood stove and all that. We're going to put extra rebar in, extra rebar. Give it more strength. Rebar gives it more strength. Yep. Hallelujah. But there it is, saints. It started off as a 30 by 60, and when I first saw the 30, I was not happy. I said it has to be a little bigger. And so we went that direction. Now what I'll have to do is if we decide to expand this building, it'll have to come out this way, right? And what I'll do is um, these lines here, I'll have to have them repositioned, which is not a big deal because they are in the way from us coming out a little bit further. I didn't want the roof or anything to be over those wires here. So if we want to expand it, we just get Georgia Power to come out, remove these, reposition these as they connect to this house so that they're not in the way. And um, we can go out further this way if I want to. Hallelujah. Just add on to that pad another 10, 15 feet, something like that. Make it wider. So, but uh, this is... The start of the multi-purpose straightway Georgia building. It will be a tabernacle, a dining hall, a homeschool facility. It will function in multi-purposes for us. And as we grow, you'll grow if you want. Hallelujah. I wanted to give you guys a look at the pad. Yep, let me get a couple more angles, maybe a street angle for you didn't want to make this video too too long yeah. 
going to take much to look at a pad, does it, Saints? I know. Some get very excited, you know, especially when you're in a position where you're by yourself. You may not be able to get to fellowship. These are the type of things you get to see that will overly encourage you. And this is why we do our videos. I'm telling you, man, when you're framing all this stuff out and doing all that, it just don't seem that big. But, boy, when I look at this pad right now, it look big, y'all. It look big. And the doors are going to be down this area down there. Come in, go right to the bathrooms, and the kitchen will be there. And then the majority of that, what, 65 70% of this is going to be used for space. I mean, we'll have our own personal dividers inside when it comes to homeschooling and things like that. So we can have classrooms. But when it comes to fellowship, this end down here is where we're going to be at down here. Hallelujah. It's going to have super high ceilings in it. 13, 14 feet tall, y'all. Have some nice acoustics for those of y'all that think y'all can sing. Or just want to offer up an acceptable praise to the Most High. <laughs> As you can tell, Elder's pretty excited. I'm tired, too. Get, just got back from Houston today and uh, had an incredible time in Houston. I really did. Enjoyed the brethren. Shout out to um, Elder Mitchell, my brother, and Brother Greg, my brother. They are doing an incredible job with them Houston Saints, some Texas Saints down there. Um, the hospitality, like always, off the chain. The food was off the chain. The camaraderie and fellowship and worship was off the chain. Healing went forward. Deliverance went forward. Uh, sound counsel went forward. I pray we listen. I pray we just obey. Man, I pray we obey Israel. This is not an hour nor season to be disobedient. Mm, all right, I ain't going to make this long. There it is, 40 by 60. Bless y'all. Hallelujah.